If you're in the TikTok art community or any online art community, you've probably heard of the jelly art style. And the jelly art style is a type of art that got popular a couple months ago, mostly on TikTok. And the art style consists of thin line art, big anime eyes, and lots of highlights. It's like very cool, it's very cute, and it's I really love the art style. But a TikTok user that comes to mind when I think about this art style is a TikTok user named Perika and they actually dropped a tutorial on how to achieve their art style so we're gonna try it out and hopefully i can make like some cute art that kind of looks like theirs so okay so here i am uh, i have a sketch of one of my characters my oc her name's luna and she's who we're going to be practicing the tutorial on so let's look at the first step they say get like a nice little blending brush which i have already and they say color the sketch layer with a dark brown color so that's what we're gonna go for nice little dark brown and i guess we're supposed to color the whole sketch i'm gonna watch the video but it says to color in the skin areas so that's what we're gonna do so we're gonna do a clipping layer oops what is this okay thank you <laughs> we're gonna do a clipping layer and just color it in the brown where all the skin is gonna be we're gonna make mine a little bit darker because the character i'm coloring is actually darker skin tone so we don't want the line art to look lighter than her here we go colored in all the skin area it's pretty simple so far <laughs> uh, next she says to do all your base colors for your drawing so i actually have a nice procreate hack on to get like base color especially if you have line art like this so you're gonna go on your your sketch layer like your line art layer and use the selection tool and go to automatic and select everything outside of the line art and then press invert then like the parts that it didn't fully get oops what the heck you're just gonna freehand it okay anyways now that you have like the whole line art selected you go on a different layer and then you fill it in and then you just clean it up a bit you know get rid of all the stuff that's out of the lines and all that jazz and then you'll have like perfect uh base mask to put all of your base colors on it so that way you don't go outside of your sketch line but okay so i already picked my base colors and what i wanted to use so we're just gonna put those in there now so a key like um feature of the jelly art style is like desaturated colors which is why i chose my oc luna because she's a zombie so she's very desaturated so this will make it easier for us in the later steps of the video because i know we're going to be adding highlights so this will actually help us add some nice highlights if everything is desaturated already so we're just filling in everything boop, boop, boop. i'm doing the skin first and then i usually just do like the clothes and then the hair after this is why i love clipping masks clipping masks make everything so much easier so yeah get on the clipping mask train use clipping masks they're great okay i'm done with all the base colors and everything yeah i'm really excited for this because this is actually um this art style is kind of semi-realistic and i usually do more of a cartoony art style so this is like a challenge for me but i made my sketch try to like resemble perika's art style so that's what i was going for in this sketch Okay, so now we're on the next step, which I actually forgot, but you have to do the base colors of the eyes and stuff, and then we can do the actual next step. Um, but yeah, so we're just going to color in the eyes. Luna has like uh, black eyeballs and then pink irises, so that's what we're doing. Very excited to see how this is going to turn out. 
Um, I think it's gonna be really cute. I'm really excited. Yep. Okay. So now we have all our base colors down. Now we can start for real. Okay, so the first thing that's next is to do blush in certain areas. And they say do it with an airbrush. So we're gonna get our airbrush and we're gonna do some blush. So for darker skin tones, I usually like to do a purplish blush. And yeah, so they say to put it in specific areas. So we're gonna put it on the lips. Ooh, no, I do not like this shade. Wait a minute. Let's make that a little darker. Okay. So we're gonna put it on the lips, on the cheeks, on the nose in the middle of the nose on like the temple issues here <laughs> and the ears also the collarbones but since her collarbone has like a shirt on it we're not gonna do that and yeah then they just say and then merge all your layers down okay and all my layers are already merged well actually no they're not let's merge these down so they say take your blending brush and we're gonna pick the base skin color and kind of define more areas. And they start with the nose. So let's go to our blending brush, which is this brush that I'm using here. And we're gonna highlight the nose and this part of the nose. And make mine a little wider. And then they go in the shadows and also highlight there. And then they also blend like the lips and stuff, which we're gonna do as well. There's lots of blending. I actually like blending. We're gonna use this sponge tool too, that's what I'm doing here. Just doing some of that. All right. And then they're just fixing up more areas and then adding more highlights and more blush. So that's what I'm going to do too. This tutorial is also really fast. Like it's sped up what I'm watching it on on TikTok. So it is kind of hard to keep up with everything and like go at the pace that they're going at. But I'm trying. They're just adding like um, being more precise with their blush in certain places. So, yeah. And that's what I'm gonna do too. So this is how the face is looking so far. Uh, let's hope we're gonna, we're just gonna trust the process. Cause, um, kinda scared. <laughs> um, kinda scared. But we're gonna trust, we're gonna trust the process. Next thing they do is they start going into the lips. And then they say merge the sketch down. So, I guess we're doing, we're merging the sketch down now. Okay, so anyways, they start color picking so that the sketch will blend into the skin. So just blending, picking like that type of color, and then just going over the lips and just making it blend together. This part is fairly easy, so. And if you draw black characters, always make their um, top lip darker than their bottom lip. So that's just, that's what's going on there. Okay. Oh my gosh, her face. Let me just blend this out a little bit. Okay. Okay. So this is this is where we're at so far. Okay. Next up is to add some highlights, which I actually really like too. And they show us where we're gonna place the highlights on the thing on the picture oh my gosh so we're doing some here on the nose then we do some at the bottom on like the lips on the cupid's bow all that type of stuff and yeah she's really going in on highlighting the lips so this is an important part to highlight okay and the nose and stuff Don't worry guys, we're gonna I'm gonna blend this out. I'm gonna blend it out, okay? It's gonna look good. 
and then they highlight the whole eye and we're just going to go back to this layer and we're going to blend it all together this is very fun this is a lot faster than my normal art process it takes me forever to get through these steps so yeah i'm trying my hardest to make sure everything looks good Okay, so next they say take the sketch color and we're gonna add some, oops, oops. Okay, we're gonna add some shadows to the face to get it some dimension back. I'm blending this out a lot with the smudge tool so it looks okay. I don't know, man. Oops. I keep forgetting about this sketch layer, but yeah. She's looking a little, um, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what to say, man. I'm trying, I'm trying so hard to make this look good. But don't worry, it's gonna get done. It's gonna look great in the end. We're trusting the process, everybody. Trust it, believe in it, love that process, okay? Okay, 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 okay. I'm also gonna add some shadows to the neck because um, she doesn't have any. And I feel like this is making her neck look weird. So we're gonna add some shadows to the neck and to other places on her face. And then they just kind of fix up the line art and add in some more details and shadows in places. Okay, so the next step, they say to blur a couple of areas in in their thing so let's just yeah let's take the gouache take it and we're gonna blur some areas so they blur the oh whoa hey how's it doing that Is the blur too strong But they blur the eyes and the corners of the mouth. And they blur some other places. And they blur this part of the face. All right. And that's the end of the tutorial. So yeah, we got some of the base stuff down. And this is how I looked uh, so far but i am going to just fix it up a little bit because the tutorial was really fast so i was trying to just get everything down and i wasn't really working on the art but now we're just going to fix up some things that um i see wrong and we're going to fix it so it can look more like the uh original person's art style This art style is actually really, really hard to replicate. And I know, like, it looks like it's easy. Or maybe it doesn't. Oh, I don't know. Maybe maybe it doesn't. I'm, I'm trying. I'm trying. gonna add some highlights to her forehead always 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 highlight your characters foreheads because everybody nobody's foreheads flat okay you gotta you gotta give them a big forehead oh, sometimes so So this character actually has um, a mole here that I didn't add because I was rendering, so we're just going to add the mole here.
So next thing we're going to do is highlight. The easiest way to do highlights on any app is to do go and make an ad later. <laughs> make an ad layer. Um, yeah, and then we're just going to add tiny highlights. Like tiny highlights look really, really good. Okay, just, just little tiny ones, okay? Okay, now if you're lazy like me, and you don't want to do that to two eyes, here's a great hack for you. You're just going to go to the select tool, select the entire eye, press that dot, press copy and paste, take it, flip it, and then put it over here. And boom! Whoa! I had two eyes. Now you don't have to do both. Wow, look at that. Look at that. That is that is bloody that's bloody nice. It's bloody lovely. Okay. So there is no tutorial that they left on their page for rendering hair or anything. So we are going to just do a little bit more chop chops and then I'm just going to render the hair and the um the clothes like how I normally do. But yeah, this is how we're looking on the face part, which I followed the tutorial for. And I it looks looks pretty nice actually. Hopefully. I think it looks pretty cool. But yeah. So I'm actually going to render the hair and then we will um we'll get back.
all right so we rendered the hair and the clothes um so i'm just gonna add in some final 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 details and then we will be done Yay! Uh, but i will say i like how it turned out though like it didn't turn out bad now we're gonna add in uh it's mm, it's just like complimentary colors what am i talking about i'm sorry we're, we're gonna add some bounce light okay that's what i meant to say sorry but i like to add in like blues and purples to like the shadows it just makes them look a lot cooler and more like vibrant -y. You can also add them in the corners of the face and stuff just to give more more light to the character so it doesn't look so flat and then we're just gonna blend it and then we turn it on to the screen layer can you bounce it here just a little bit and then you're just gonna blend it out this is how the final look turned out. We're gonna add like a background or something because it is like, there's nothing here. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. But I really, really enjoyed doing this. I think that everybody should try out this art style every once in a while or just try it out for yourself before you say like bad things about it because it's actually, it's really cool looking, you know? So this is this is the final look it does look nice on its own okay and then for me for a beginner in semi-realism like this looks this looks pretty good okay all right so, so don't hate on me man so that was it for the video um yeah i would say that this was this is a really hard art style i'm gonna have to practice some more if i want this to like look good but i think i did okay uh, yeah, so don't forget to follow Perika on TikTok. That's two tutorials that we follow today to get the art style. Also, follow me on TikTok. Um, yeah, I have my username. I'm gonna put my username somewhere on the screen, but I don't have any videos on there yet. But I am gonna be posting some art videos on there sometime. So, yeah, follow that if you want to see it. And if you want to see more videos from me, comment what videos you want to see. If you don't want to see more videos from me, comment that too tell me yeah okay all right bye